like a hell cut. What's up, y'all, and welcome back to the channel. Another road trip. Another road trip. So, as you guys know, we are on a little a little mission to taste all of the vegan restaurants in the tri-state area. And it's been fun. And it's been fun. It's been fun. And beyond, because you did bring up Hawaii. I did. So, any suggestions? I'm still waiting. We're still waiting. Hawaii, where are you guys? Where are yes. you? So, today is... One of the most excited I've ever been for a video. We are driving down to Mercer County, which is in New Jersey. We're going to the Trenton Farmer's Market. I've never been there before. I haven't, but I'm actually very excited very about this. Very excited. So you guys recommended, actually a number of you guys recommended to go check out Lady and the Shallot. I like that name. I love that. Yes. And the reason why this is the perfect timing is because as you guys know, March is Woman's Month. It is the woman's month. The owners of Lady in the Shallot, they are both women. So this is a woman-owned business. If you guys are new to the channel, subscribe. And if you guys like this video and this series, leave us a like down below. Leave us a like down below. And then comment your favorite vegan restaurant in the New Jersey, Pennsylvania, New York area. Honestly, any area. Any area, including Hawaii. <laughs> Next time we'll see you guys, we'll be in a Trenton Farmer's Market. Holding on to what I know to everything I've learned, what is real and fabricated? What is wrong? What is my problem? What can I get out of this world that I created? Fighting the storms in my head. Don't know. You guys, we just had the most amazing experience I, I i can't even begin to explain speechless yes speechless the experience we just had at leading the shallot incomparable these two women were the friendliest the most authentic type people you can ever imagine i felt like we were friends for years yeah, yeah. like for I, years. I, I, want, I want to be their best friend <clears throat> what am i a roach while we were there at Lady in the Shallot, both Franny and Kate, who were the two owners, they were actually giving us recommendations of other vegan businesses to try in the market. How, like, are how, you kidding? How real is that? How nice is that? I mean, they want, they want the small businesses to succeed. And may I show this to you? Oh, you guys. Yes. I can't wait. Look at the color of that. This red one right here, it's actually from, they use tea leaves from a shop inside the market. First, we're gonna try this guy right here. This is, they have a different water infusion of the day, every day. So this is water infused with mint, blueberry, and lemon. Oh, oh, it smells so refreshing. Okay, you go. So refreshing. Ooh, I like that. Beyond refreshing. It's better than I thought. It's very yummy. The, one of my favorite parts of Lady in the Shallot, it's very healthy. So. It's not like vegan processed, vegan junk food, which is, I mean, it's nice on occasion. This is a whole food, plant-based mm -hmm. restaurant. Yeah. It's, that's what I love most. So that water that we just tried, there's no added sugar. It's just whole ingredients. And I yes. love, I just love that. I know. I'm so passionate right now. I'm so passionate about Lady in the Shallot. My heart is like, I'm like, oh my God. As and I said before, she's a little bit dramatic. Why do you have to bring my mood down? <laughs> they have a um, a juice every day, and I can't 100% remember what this was. I know there's pineapple in here. Let me smell. Actually, you want to try it first? Yeah, let me do. We're going to figure that's... out what's in here. Well, let me try. So how get it? That's good. Mm. That's what it looks like. This is so fresh. Yeah, that is. This is so fresh. This Very is fresh. really, really good. Mm. I like that. Orange. There's orange in there. Is there? Yeah. Next is the hibiscus tea. They said that they use the tea leaves from one of the shops in the market. Hold on. Okay, I'm just gonna drink it from the top. <laughs> it's called Tea for All. That's the shop. But this is what it looks like. Again, a hibiscus, a little hibiscus tea. Very light. Again, no sugar added. It's very, very light. It's like water with a little hint, a little hint sprinkled in. Very clean, very refreshing. All right, now onto the food. Drum roll, please. First, first 
of many that we'll be tasting. This is called curry over greens. This is greens, curry roasted chickpeas, red onion, avocado, and a little tahini sauce drizzled over. How delicious, how scrumptious does this look? I can't wait. And let me tell you, you're not even getting the smells. You're not even getting the smells that I'm getting in my car. So hopefully mama doesn't drop this like in the past. Drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, oh some man. Guac. Oh, some guaca. Guaca, guaca flame. You guys, mm -hmm. look, look at that. All right. Mmm. Oh my gosh. Never be the same. Delicious. Mmm. Oh, I need more. Mm -mm. Wait a minute. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No. Mm. I'm part of the team. She doesn't even go here. This is addicting. No more. Stop. No. You know what's gonna happen? We're gonna get to the fourth thing, and you're gonna be like, oh, I shouldn't have had the, the curry roasted shaped peas. That's mm. so whiny. Oh my god, that's you. You could taste the freshness. Yes. But there was no sacrifice of taste. If there's flavor. so much flavor in this. Flavor, flavor. It's not on. like my salads at home where like I'll make the salad and I'll be like, boring. Boring. Yeah. I'll be like, this is. I know I'm eating healthy today. Yeah. And guess what? We have some refreshing and nice drink to wash this down. A, Do nice, a nice drink. 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 It's a nice drink. Next, we are taking a little plane out to good old Mexico because we got some tacos. Hola, niño. <laughs> we have three different types of tacos because one is not, how do you say enough in Spanish? Basta. You probably just said like cat or something. Oh my god! Hello? Guess what basta means? Enough. Oh. So I didn't know we had um a fluent Spaniard in the car. That's me. Anyway, back to the food. First we have the tofu scramble taco. This is a turmeric air fried tofu scramble, avocado, seasoned black beans, fresh tomato and greens with sriracha sauce. Sriracha sauce. Next, we have a rainbow taco. This is a crisp red cabbage, avocado, corn, tomato, greens, and roasted chickpeas with lime, cayenne, and over is a lemon caper aioli. Ugh. Ugh. I'm dying right now. You guys. Last, we have the chipotle taco. This is cabbage, seasoned black and red beans, pico de gallo, cilantro, chipotle sauce, and avocado. Uh, let's go. I'm gonna start with the tofu scramble okay look at that guys oh wow look at that here show we go the, show the other side the back side Ooh, she got a donk she got a donk she got a donk look, look at that oh mm-hmm mm. Mm wow that tofu scramble is really good mm -hmm. very very good uh oh my gosh it's so mm. good it's so creamy you guys, this is so good. That I sauce. I can't wait to come back here again. Ugh. Next is the rainbow taco. So here we go. Oh, I got Very nice... saucy. Look at that. I love my sauce. I got a nice little spice from that um other one. Yep. Um. Mm! Let me taste. Mm! That caper sauce. Oh my god, I love caper. Mm! 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 Oh my gosh. I love roasted chickpeas. And that sauce. Usually we only do one bite. Apparently we're doing whole meals today. Oh my god. That I'm, was, I'm trying to stop eating it, but I can't. This is so good. They do DoorDash, Seamless Grub Hub. You. you guys are Mercer County. I, I'm enjoying the series. Oh my god, I'm jealous enjoying right now. the series. I'm jealous. Why are you jealous? Because you get the first bite. Small bite. Everyone knows the rules. Mm. It definitely has a kick to it, mm. which I love. Mm -hmm. Taste the cilantro. I would get all of this again. I literally just drooled all over my face. God, you feel the spiciness? Mm, it's mm -hmm. delicious. Cause I got issues. Every bite I have, I'm like, it, it probably wasn't as good as I'm remembering it. And then I take a bite, I'm like, okay, somehow it's better than when I'm remembering it. It's kind of like an out of body experience for me. Next up, we're gonna have Mama Marsh do the honors. So what's coming up, it's called the Street Spuds. So it's air roasted potatoes, spicy chickpeas, avocado, and a caper sauce. Oh, the caper sauce yes. is making a comeback. He's yes. making a comeback. Um, if you guys didn't know, because I did not know, spuds are, uh, like, that's potatoes. You did not know that? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. How can you not know that? 
it. College. Oh, yeah, it's focused. Here it's we focused. go. A little potato, a little potato. Yeah. Woo! I just got a kick. There's the flavor. I'm going to make a mess. I like that little kick, too. Mm. Definitely, definitely like this. Um, maybe it's the flavors are not as prominent as in the other ones. I think the other things are just so flavorful. This is still so but good. So good. But Last but certainly not least, guys, we have a three bean chili with a jalapeno aioli. Oh, look at that. That looks really good. Look at that. Just look at that. Really? There's so much flavor. Oh. Oh, come here. Wow. Come back. You look at this, you're like, oh, that's, that's small. It's heavy. This yeah. is heavy. That is delicious. Oh. And I'm usually not a big chili fan. Me neither. I would order this again in a heartbeat. Oh, my Lanta, you what? are my woman. And I love the taste of the jalapeno. Mm. But it's not. No, it's, it's, not, like, it's not really spicy. No, no. Like, not overpowering. Wow. That is so good. And I like the greens. Oh, I love it. Top because it adds it's that level texture. of freshness. And it's also a texture. I love the texture it adds. Mm. This was really unbelievable. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. They hit another home run. It's it's literally top notch quality, not only in the freshness of the ingredients that they use, but the taste. Yes. The taste blows you out of the water. So Francesca recommended this one coffee shop. For some reason she knew me. She knew your girl was coming. And you know what? A coffee addict can spot a fellow coffee addict. She saw me and was like, oh yeah. It's called Cafe Ohala. Cafe Ohala. I don't know, it sounds Hawaiian to me. I don't know what it is about Trenton Farmer's Market, but everyone there is so, so freaking nice. What my mom got is a matcha latte and then, and then. As you know, I'm a matcha woman. She's a matcha lady. Mama, wait, Mama Matcha Marsh. I love that. You're the most. Most. <laughs> most. That's who you, that's who you are. <laughs> Mama Macha Marsh. Oh, please. My new name. Oh my God, please don't call her that. Right. Since I was there, they had pour over coffees and multiple single origin blends. So I heard they had a little, my ears did hear right. They had a little bit of Brazilian and I was like, oh, okay. So I got a little pour over in the Brazilian blend. It's just black coffee because you guys know I'm a badass blank. Mama's here. All right, uh, whatever that's supposed to mean. The matcha latte with macadamia milk. It's actually good. It's not, it's not sweet at all, but you really taste the matcha. Let it settle. Because usually it's sweet, but you taste, you really yeah. taste the matcha. I like that. Because he asked whether she wanted it with a type of sugar or sweetener. And I don't like any type of we sweetener. We don't like that. You could yeah. definitely taste the, the matcha. matcha. It's good. It's, I it's like good. that. It's good. It's very, and if you guys like matcha, that earthy taste, and you don't like the, you know, the fake crap, like Starbucks has the matcha lattes, which are good, but they're very sweet. They're very yeah. sugary. This is completely natural. Yeah. Even the milk, um, sorry, even the macadamia milk. I don't really taste I it don't, that much. I don't think it's, yeah. I think they got it unsweetened, which yeah. again, I appreciate. Okay, can I have oh, my back? Here we go. Here we go. Is gracing us with his presence. I'm probably not gonna have an appreciation for this. Hmm. The aftertaste is better than. It smells good though. Yeah, it smells really good. The aftertaste is better than when it first it first hits. You know what? I think I would drink that. No, it's good. The, I think the, the, a, the aftertaste. The aftertaste yeah. is really really good. Yeah, that's shocking for me because mm. uh, you know I'm not a black person. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Overall, closing thoughts on Lady and the Shallot. You guys, Wait, you've got to come here. I don't care where you live. I don't care. You've got to come here. If there's one thing I've done right in 2021, it was making a trip to Lady and the Shallot. Yes. It was amazing. It was amazing. Yeah. Uh, the atmosphere was great. Moreover, the people, the yeah, people the were people. great. Yeah. It was really a great, I mean, I love farmer's markets. I, I just love this place. The love drinks. It. Everything. Amazing. Yeah. And of course, I mean, what you guys are here for, the food. The food. Yeah. What's to die Ugh. for? What's to die for? You guys, this was like, seriously, one of the greatest experiences of my life. Really? I'm not kidding. Wow. Yeah. That's pretty dramatic. Why do I even bother telling you anything? Wait, mama. 
Matcha marsh. <laughs> wow, you're ruining my life! Don't try to make us a thing. You're trying to make us a thing. It is a thing. And it's not gonna be a thing. It's a thing. Thank you guys so much, so much for watching the video. Um, let us know if you guys have been to Lady in the Chalet. Did you guys have this like ET extraterrestrial experience that we had? We'll see y'all in the next one. Yep. Peace. Light it up, light it up, light it up.